What is up guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Day and I'm a security analyst and college student. And on this channel, I'll talk about cybersecurity, college certifications and internships. This video is gonna cover how I studied and passed the Splunk Core certified user. I usually do the certification videos with uh, video footage, but my camera recently gave up on me and I need to fix it. So or get a new one so i'm just um, going to be recording just audio for this one um i already wrote a blog about it you can check out the blog but this video is going to be a more in-depth uh video just covering how you can study and pass the splunk core certified user so the splunk core certified user is pretty much um the uh i guess first or second level in splunk certifications that kind of certify that you understand the basics of you know the splunk interface basic searching uh, so basic Splunk fundamentals, uh, transforming commands, reports, dashboards, alerts, and uh, just the basics of you know getting around in Splunk and understanding how to find uh, information in the logs that Splunk cur uh, Splunk pulls together for analysis. So uh, if you don't know what Splunk is, Splunk is a big data uh, analytics platform that helps you analyze data from d different data sources and in regards to cybersecurity Splunk is a sim which is a security information and event management platform that allows security professional to easily analyze logs from various data sources um, that are being monitored by your organization so uh, Splunk is a really popular sim there are several sims out there including um, Alien Vault, Securinix, um, Splunk, Greylog, Kibana, several other ones out there, but Splunk is a really, really, really popular one. And I'm um, having an understanding of Splunk is going to be really uh, good for you as a security professional because you might find yourself in the Splunk environment. So, you know, learning about Splunk will be really good for you if you're an um, aspiring security analyst. And if you eventually don't even find yourself in the Splunk environment, understanding how to do all of these queries usually correlate with um, most other sims. So just having an understanding of how to use a sim would be really beneficial for you. So how do you study for this exam? I use three main resources for this exam. Uh, Splunk has a free Splunk course, which is pretty sufficient for the exam. Um, I did a review of the, the course. It's called the Splunk Fundamentals, Splunk 7.x Fundamentals. Uh, you can also check out the blog on that. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. Um, it's a really um, introductory course and it's really pretty much all you need for the exam. And um, this course covers everything that you should expect for the exam. I recommend going through the course twice. Um, and you know, first time I went through the course, I went through everything, took notes, did all the labs. And second time I just like, you know, just watched the videos and studied the PDF that Splunk provides with the course. So the course is free. You don't have to pay for it. Um, it's free. Just register, create an account with Splunk, register for the course and take the course and you can easily uh, just go through the course, go through the labs. Uh, but you would definitely need to configure a Splunk. Uh, you definitely need to, to have a Splunk lab, uh, like in a, in, in your own um, environment because they're not going to provide you a live environment so you need to like build a maybe like ubuntu server and configure splunk at that server but that's really easy to do and in my upcoming videos on my home lab videos i will be showing you how to do that but it's really easy um you can easily um install splunk on a ubuntu server and use them to uh work in the labs that you will be provided in the splunk course um, they also recommend not doing the labs in the production environment. So if you have Splunk in a production environment, like at your work, you just don't do it. You know, it's it, it, it's it's going to avoid the, the license, I think. But yeah, just, you know, build a Splunk lab in your home lab and you know, just work through the labs as provided by Splunk. Uh, the second resource I used was Quizlet. Uh, this was just kind of for flashcards and like some questions that I could expect on the exam. So the first one was created by P. Vander Linden, um, and it's really, uh, you know, a bunch of questions, a bunch of flashcards that I think were really, really, uh, really, really, really similar to what you could expect in the exam, and just really help you solidify the concepts you would have learned in the Splunk Fundamentals course. Second one was by Noob to Envy, and it's also kind of, it was also a really good um, flashcard, you know, just to kind of reinforce the concepts you would have learned in the Splunk Fundamentals course, and I just needed a practice exam 
for this uh, course. Um, I just wanted to kind of test myself, like what I could possibly expect in the exam. And I found this good practice exam on Udemy. Uh, I'll leave a link to it in the description. And it really, you know, it was a really, really good representation of how the Splunk exam would be. It's a Splunk Core Certified User Practice Test by Vega Notes on Udemy. I'll leave a link in the description, um, like I said before. And uh, just bear in mind that this practice exam has a lot of typos. But I don't think it's anything that you know would would you know be too much of a turnoff. It's it, it's 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 not that bad, but it does have a lot of typos that could you know be distracting. But if you can look past that, then you you definitely find value in the practice exam. So I recommend this. It's it's you don't really need too much for this exam. It's a really really fundamental exam, and you know just these three resources would be quite sufficient for you. So I took this exam uh, with Pearson View at home. Um, it was pretty easy to get that done. And you know, they give you your score report after the exam. So um, it's a, like I said, it's a really simple simple exam. Um, you know, just make sure you study for it. Don't, uh, don't underestimate the exam. And you know, this resource that I've provided should be sufficient for the exam. Um, so yeah, I recommend this exam. Definitely check it out if you're learn, trying to learn more about Sims. And if you have, have any any questions or you need um, any guidance for this exam, just join our Discord uh, community. I'll leave a link to the Discord server in the description, and I uh, will be glad to help you. Or anyone else will be glad to help you with resources or anything. Um, maybe setting up a Splunk server. Uh, we'll be glad to help you out there. So yeah, I hope this video provides value to you if you're looking to take the Splunk Core Certified User Exam. And uh, I hope this video helps out. So if you like this video, please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe and share this video to anyone who you think it will provide a value to. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next video.